sir uh, uh, as you said this platform remains free right you are saying you said in the call it will remain free forever yeah that's what you committed నేను మీ అందరికీ పర్సనలీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అయ్యి క్వాలిటీ అండ్ ఇన్నోవేటివ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ షేర్ చేయడం కోసం ఎప్పటికప్పుడు సర్చ్ చేస్తూనే ఉంటాను కాన్స్టెంట్గా ఇలా సర్చ్ చేసినప్పుడు కొన్నిసార్లు మంచి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దొరుకుతుంది అది మీకు షేర్ చేస్తుంటాను చాలాసార్లు పనికిరాని ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దొరుకుతుంటుంది అవి డిస్కార్డ్ చేసేస్తూ ఉంటాను బట్ వెరీ రేర్లీ ఇలాంటి డ్యామేజ్ దొరుకుతాయి నేను ఈ వీడియోలో షేర్ చేసే ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో మీరు నేర్చుకోబోయే ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో ఇట్ ఈస్ రియలీ వర్త్ ఏ డైమండ్ ఇంత క్వాలిటీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అది కూడా లైఫ్ టైం ఫ్రీ యాక్సెస్తో ఇంత డీప్ రీసెర్చ్ చేసే ప్లాట్ఫామ్ నాకు తెలిసి మార్కెట్లో అయితే అవైలబుల్గా లేదు అండ్ ఈ వీడియోని చూసి నేర్చుకోకుండా అంటే స్కి మధ్యలోనే వదిలేసి నేర్చుకోకుండా చాలామంది ఉంటారు కదా ఎవరైతే అలా చేస్తారో అలా చేయడం వల్ల నాకు కానీ లేదా ఈ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ డెవలప్ చేసి ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తున్న రాకేష్ అరోరా గారు రీటైల్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ మీద ప్రేమతో ఆయన ఫ్రీగా ఇంత అడ్వాన్స్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ని అయితే డెవలప్ చేసి ఉంచుతున్నారు సో ఆయనకు కానీ నష్టం లేదు ఎవరైతే యూజ్ చేసుకోరో నేర్చుకోకుండా వాళ్ళకి నష్టం ఎందుకంటే ఇంత క్వాలిటీ డేటా అండ్ ఇంత క్వాలిటీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మనకి లైఫ్ టైం ఫ్రీ యాక్సెస్తో ఎక్కడా దొరకడం అయితే నేనైతే చూడలేదు యాక్చువల్ నేనైతే చాలా ఎమేజ్ ఫీల్ అయ్యాను ఫస్ట్ ఈ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ గురించి తెలుసుకున్న తర్వాత అండ్ ఈ వీడియో చూసిన ఏ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైంలో అయినా మీకు నిజంగా రాకేష్ అరోరా గారు రీటైల్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ కోసం ఆయన ఏదైతే పర్సనల్ డబ్బులు స్పెండ్ చేసి మరి ఇలాంటి ప్లాట్ఫామ్ డెవలప్ చేసి లైఫ్ టైం ఫ్రీ యాక్సెస్తో అవైలబుల్గా ఉంచుతున్నారు కదా అది ఆయన పెట్టిన ఎఫర్ట్ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అయింది అని వచ్చినట్టయితే కామెంట్ సెక్షన్లో ఆయన్ని థ్యాంక్స్ చేయడానికి ప్రయత్నించండి ఆయన పేరు రాకేష్ అరోరా ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఎ వెరీ వెరీ బిగ్ హార్ట్ ఇలాంటి ప్లాట్ఫామ్ మీద ఇన్వెస్ట్ చేసి రీటైల్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ ప్రాంతో నేను లైఫ్ టైం ఫ్రీ యాక్సెస్కి వదిలేస్తున్నాను అని చెప్పడం అలా చేయడం అన్నది ఇట్ నీడ్స్ ఎ బిగ్ హార్ట్ చాలా తక్కువ మందికి ఉంటుంది ఐ పర్సనలీ వాంట్ టు థ్యాంక్ హిమ్ త్రూ దిస్ మీడియం రాకేష్ అరోరా సార్ ఐ నో యు ఆర్ వెరీ గుడ్ అనలిస్ట్ బట్ రీటైల్ ఇన్వెస్టర్స్ మీద ప్రాంతం ఇలాంటి ప్లాట్ఫామ్ మీరు ప్రొవైడ్ చేసినందుకు ఎ బిగ్ థ్యాంక్స్ అండ్ మీ వరకు ఇలాంటి మంచి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ తీసుకోవడానికి మేము ఏదైతే కాన్స్టెంట్గా ఎఫోర్ట్ పెడుతుంటాం ఆ ఎఫోర్ట్ మీకు హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అయిందని వీడియో చూసిన ఏ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైంలో అనిపించినా కూడా వీడియోని అప్పుడే లైక్ చేయండి చాలామంది వీడియోని చూస్తారు కానీ లైక్ చేయరు లైక్ చేసినట్టయితే మేబీ మనీ వెళ్తుందో ఏదో అనుకుంటారు నో అది కాదండి లైక్ చేయమని ఎందుకు అడుగుతామంటే ఎక్కువ మందికి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ షేర్ అవుతుందని సో లైక్ చేయడానికి అయితే ప్రయత్నించండి అండ్ వీడియో మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్కి హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అవుతుంది అంటే డెఫినెట్లీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అవుతుంది హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అవుతుంది అంటే ఏంటి డెఫినెట్లీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి వాళ్ళకి షేర్ చేయడానికి అయితే ప్రయత్నించండి యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు నెక్స్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఫిఫ్టీ మినిట్స్ ఏదైతే వీడియో ఉంటుంది యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు విట్నెస్ ఏ అమేజింగ్ కంటెంట్ సో బెస్ట్ యూజ్ చేసుకోవడానికి అయితే ప్రయత్నించండి ఐఎమ్ షూర్ ఇలాంటి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇలాంటి కంటెంట్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ మీకు ఏ ప్లాట్ఫామ్లోనే అయితే దొరకదు లెట్ మీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ రాకేష్ అరోరా గారు నా కెన్ యూ సీ ద స్క్రీన్ యా నో ఐ కెన్ సీ ద స్క్రీన్ సార్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ అవర్ వెబ్సైట్ విచ్ ఇస్ కాల్ గో ఇండియా స్టాక్స్ డాట్ కామ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ల్యాండింగ్ పేజ్ యూ నో వేర్ యూ రీచ్ Hmm. and uh, immediately you can see the featured company these are the companies uh, with whom we are involved in a way of providing strategic advice hmm. and also provide consultancy for investor relations hmm. so um, you can say that uh, these are the guys who are paying us so you should hmm. know that you know if anything hmm. we are writing on these uh, it's our views hmm. are you know, can be a little biased hmm. because we are paid for it Hmm. uh these are the notes that we write on them which would probably be highlighting their results their conference calls for their takeaways etc hmm. um then we also have a weekly uh, you know research note which comes out which deals with hmm. various topics depending on you know what we are what is hot in the hmm. market where we see an opportunity and um, plus i re- a- uh, sorry for pausing you sir i really like your notes uh guys um, uh, rakesh sir and his team uh, they keep uploading notes on every week uh, it comes in weekend right so yeah, that okay. note yeah, yeah that note uh, don't miss it uh, they are really good uh, he shares with me we we are part of a group so uh, from there i go through those notes they are amazing and i really like the transparency part sir uh, not many just pu- people put it in the upfront landing page itself on the first uh, box itself thank you bhai so these are the notes and uh, you know if you are signed up on the website uh, you know these notes come to you on your email also so you won't really miss uh, you know anything and this is a small uh, you know presentation which comes every week uh, along with the note and it gives you
plus uh, you know a technical check and uh, among other things uh, about you know funds buying and selling data plus there's also uh, aggregation of what the results are showing in terms of quarterly results so it's a you know one minute view for anybody to get a view on what happened in the week uh, which passed away and uh, what is the outlook so this is the main uh, you know page where you land up um, here is uh, you know the major uh, you know page where you can check how the market is doing for the day mm -hmm. so um, it's slightly different from what normally other sites you see because we are trying to see you know which sector is trying to outperform and uh, here you can change uh, and see you know across various uh, time period so basically currently it is for the current day uh, but if you want to see for the week you know markets have been totally blanked out with mm. metals mm. being beaten out of shape mm. uh, if you want to see like a three month view uh, you just have to see that okay power and utilities are doing very well but as real estate consumer durables it they're not be doing that great so this is this gives you a bird's view as to what is happening uh, you can click on any of these uh, to look at uh, the constituents uh, what is driving uh, so suppose if you have to click here on metals uh, you can see which metal stocks are actually going up or going down um, okay. so that way you know you can figure out uh, within the sector what is performing what is not performing and you uh, also provide sector notes sir i saw there is a sector notes there so basically whatever notes we write uh, it is classified uh, as per company and as per sector Okay. So, uh, you know, if it is uh, uh, any notes for that sector is there, it will show up on that place also. And if you are reading the notes which come under the market story or the sector uh, stock notes that we do. Hmm. Uh, similarly, you can see all the indices here and uh, same way you can look at the various periods and same way you can, you know, click and see which stocks are performing uh, and which stocks are underperforming. So this gives you a bird's eye view. Mm. Uh, on the how, how market is uh, doing well. Mm. Uh, this is the historical returns for Nifty 50. Uh, you can actually choose for any sec, uh, you know, of the indices. Mm. So like May, we are seven and a half percent down, April, we are two percent down. Mm. But you know how things, you know, behave uh, in May generally. Uh, so, you know, like Feb, March and May are weak months for the market. Yes. And, uh, you know, the best months are actually uh, uh, basically November. The second half. Like yeah. So uh, here, if you make uh, your own watch list, uh, you can see the stock performance from whatever date you want to pick. Like, mm. you know, I have made a lot of watch lists. Uh, so probably let's go to say Steel. Mm. Um, and if I submit... Uh, so this is what has happened uh, from uh, 16th April to you know 16th May, which is uh, today's date. Hmm. And um, so you can choose the date, etc., and see. And so you know, watch list is a big important component. Uh, it helps you uh, kind of you know uh, do a lot of things which I'll show you. Plus here you can see you know which stocks are uh, underperforming, which stocks are doing very well. So this is like for Nifty Fifty. Hmm. So how much below they are from 50 to week high and hmm. how much above they are from 50 to week low. Hmm. So as you can see, Indalco is down 40%, uh, 39% from 50 to week high and 8% up from 50 to week low. So you know that these are underperforming stocks. Wipro is like another underperforming stock. And hmm. in terms of outperforming stock, you can see that uh, Power Grid, ITC, uh, you know, hmm. Sun Pharma, Bhat, these are some of the outperforming stocks. So mm. it gives you a bird eye view, but uh, you know this is where it, the help comes in. Um, you know, uh, so if you select your watch list, so here I've uh, selected steel. Mm. So I can see that you know Jindal, Coal India, and Alco are outperforming, whereas sale etc are underperforming. It gives you a you know bird's eye view. Mm. Then if you want to see you know how the sector rotation is happening, uh, this is sector by sector data, and so. Uh, the way to use it is that, see, suppose IT, it's mm. been going down for last five weeks. Yes. Right? So there's a good chance that it might actually revive. Mm. It's been going down consistently. So here you can, you know, see, you know, which sector is in flavor, which sector is going down. Mm. So this segment, which is market, gives you an uh, interesting, you know, update 
on uh, how the markets are behaving. Uh, you can also look at global markets in this space. Amazing. And so what you see is, uh, you know, futures. So it is not the real indices. It is future. Hmm. So it is, you know, even now as we are seeing, it is changing a little bit because hmm. US uh, futures never stop. They keep on trading. So you can see that, uh, you know, futures are down a little bit. And that is what is really pulling uh, our market down. Hmm. Uh, so global markets also, you can have a look. Uh, plus then there are all these uh, block deals, uh, you know. Uh, so this is for the Friday. What all hmm. block deals happen? You can, you know, scan it by if you want to see, uh, you know, higher market cap companies, you can just click here and see which all major companies uh, or if, by the deal type or by the deal size, uh, you can do it. Plus, you can also check, you know, which companies are uh, shortlisted into ASM framework, long-term ASM framework. Uh, so this is the changes which are happening. Uh, plus, you can also check, you know, your companies on where the price band is changing. So everything that you need to know from the market is under this uh, market stamp. Hmm. And uh, you don't really need to go and see on, uh, you know, some data is available on NSC, some data is available somewhere else. Everything that we need is here. Sir, commodity is also there? In the commodity tab, uh, we give data about commodity movement? Uh, no, actually, it is still work in progress. It is still, okay. you know, we are building it. Okay. Uh, it's coming soon. But we have okay. something for commodity guys also. Okay. So now it comes, let's come to the sector tab. Hmm. Uh, here, because since you asked commodity, let's do that first. Okay. So here, this is a tab called metals. Hmm. And where you can see the prices of uh, iron ore, iron ore pellets, uh, non-coking coal, coking coal. And you can also see the last six year, six months of average pricing and the latest pricing. Plus, there's also insights from, you know, steel mint, hmm. which you can see. Uh, this is a, you know, 45,000 rupees annual subscription. If somebody hmm. wants to access the letter, which we are given free. So, so cool. normally you would have paid uh, so much uh, for getting this data. And you can also read two stories. Uh, so the catch is that you can read only two stories a day. But okay. see, if you just read the synopsis, you would know which story to read. Yes. So you don't really need to read all the stories. So whatever story looks interesting, you can just click on that. So that is the only catch. But otherwise, okay. uh, you know, we have summed up the whole data from Steel Mint, which is mm. uh, you know 45,000 rupee subscription and given it free to all our uh, you know, viewers. The awesome. other tab uh, which you need to keep track on is the economic tab. So basically, this is a snapshot which tells you how the economy is doing well. So basically, mm -hmm. look at cement production trend or chemical production trend or passenger vehicle sales trend. See, mm -hmm. after a huge uh, you know downturn, it's starting to pick up now. Yes. Or tractor sales yeah. has picked up. So clearly, this tells me that you know auto is one sector where I should be focusing on. Similarly, you know the IP data or the petroleum product consumption, power consumption. Uh, so at one glance, you are able to see what is the state of the economy and which place you should be looking at from your uh, investment point of view. If EVA bill generated is going up, basically economy is doing really well. So you yes. don't really need to bother about economy and you can see that exports are doing extremely well. And it's not just, uh, you know, services export, it's overall merchandise export is also doing well. Then you have a list of huge, uh, all the economic indicators that you can think of. And if you click on any of these, it will take you to, you know, a more detailed tab, which will, you can you know, look at 10, 20 years history of that data. And all this you can, you know, download and use uh, whichever way you want to look at it. But uh, this gives you, you know, uh, a quick view. Suppose you're looking at the mining sector, how is it doing? It is here. If you're looking at, you know, how BPCL, et cetera, as detailed business will be doing, you look at petrol consumption. Um, you want to see how Paytm's uh, business is going to do, you look at non-cash payments, you mm. know, how the value is shifting. Uh, you want to look at uh, telecom business, you can see how the wireless telecom subscriber base is changing. So everything that you need, uh, you just need to, you know, make sure what you want to look for. The data is available here. Slowly, we will bring it under various companies, you know, which data to track. Similarly, there's a lot of data which comes on quarterly basis. So you want to see how the house price index is changing for real estate companies in VR sector. So that is available here. Or you want to see, you know, what is the business expectation, which is futuristic. So you can see mm -hmm. that the RBI business expectation index is going up. 
So mm-hmm. initial businesses are very bullish about mm-hmm. the outlook. So whatever the market might be doing, this is a ground check on what things, how things are happening yes. in the economy. Market could be, uh, you know, slightly uh, bowered down. All this, this can be downloaded to, into Excel, right, sir? Yeah, everything can be downloaded into Excel. Now, this brings me to a very important screen. Suppose you don't even know which company to look at. So what do you do? So these are the screens which help you. Okay. So some people are, you know, driven by technical. Some people are driven by fundamental. We have solution for both these guys. So awesome. these screens are built on 26 uh, indicators. So you don't mm. really need to know how to do technical analysis. You just need to look at it. Mm. And there are three time frames that we have chosen. One day, one week, one month. So basically one day is short term, one week is like medium term and one month is uh, long term. So mm. you can start with one month and say, you know, which companies are uh, looking strong on charts from a mm. monthly perspective. Mm. So you can see that Orbit is the only one which is really looking really, you know, strong, strong at the moment. Mm. And if you go and see, you can see that all the IT names and, you know, even Ultratech, you mm. know, uh, Shri Cement, Cement, because Ambuja's deal recently mm. happened. Mm. Already Ultratech and Shri were in a sell category mm. because competition mm. is going to increase with Adani coming in. Yes. Similarly, you know, IT is, Stocks had uh, weak results. So Wipro is hmm. kind of a sell here. HFC Bank, again, you know, you don't really expect them to be a sell on a longer term basis. But so On technical basis, yes. Idea. Okay. And suppose you don't want to look at the Nifty 50, you can choose any index. Okay. And more importantly, as I said, you can choose your watch list. So this oh. gives you huge flexibility. So hmm. suppose I just chose a steel list and I can see, hmm. oh, so see, you can see that sale um, and MDC are sell hmm. uh, in Dal Kutsita were doing very well on long term. Let's hmm. go to short term. Vedanta, JSW, in Dalco, strong sell. Everything is a sell, but it's a strong sell. Hmm. Uh, you can look at weekly basis also. So only JSW, JSPL is like kind of neutral. Otherwise, hmm. everything is sell. So technical uh, screen gives you an immediate idea to shortlist, you know, which stocks to look at. Okay. And then you can also look at the trend. Meaning hmm. how the rec- recommendation is changing. Hmm. Hmm. So whenever the recommendation changes from say strong buy to buy and then sell, hmm. this was the time to really sell actually. And if you look hmm. at uh, one week uh, return, it's minus hmm. 15%. So this tells you a little bit. So only this guy was, JSPL was neutral. It has fallen the least uh, 9.95%. Otherwise everything has fallen uh, a lot. But somebody mm. like Nalco, which was sell throughout, um, it's mm. already been sold 25% in the month. It's also mm. not fallen that much in the week. So it's kind of bottoming out. So if you want to, you know, figure out which, because see, technical indicators look at the back. So you yes. are forward looking. Mm. So you have to see when the change is going to happen. So mm. when things are starting to, you know, uh, like for Nalco or for, um, you know, JSPL, where things are looking reasonably okay, uh, you can try and figure out. So this is the technical screen. Now, this is something which nobody has. Yeah. Uh, this is our unique uh, proposition, which is fundamental. fundamental. I'm more interested now, in it. So this is the cumulative knowledge of all the brokers in the country. Okay. Imagine the power that you have. Okay. You don't have access to research of all these brokers. Hmm. But here... We are giving you a summary as to what they are propagating. So these are uh, in Nifty 50, which are the mm. stocks where they have the highest upside mm. and which are the stocks, uh, meaning what is the upside from the current level they are pushing because stocks mm. have fallen. Everything mm. they are saying is an upside. Only mm. power grid is one which has gone well beyond. Mm. Uh, here again, meaning you just, you can choose your watch list. Hmm. And you can see, okay, so sale, everybody is saying uh, this thing. Now, this is based on base case. Base case is hmm. average yeah. of all the brokers. You yeah. want to say, no, I want to figure out who is the bear. nearest bear case. So in bear case, still in Dalco, there's a lot of upside. Yes. And in bear case, people are not seeing too much upside in JSW and Cold India. And if you are very bullish and say, yeah, no, no, street is way behind and I am bullish. So hmm. you look at the bullish. So then you see that street is most bullish on sale. The second thing what you get from here is uh, upgrades. So basically, you know, for FI22, which companies are seeing EPS upgrades? So where the earnings forecast is increasing. This is more important than the previous table. Yes. Uh, And here you can choose the start date. So suppose I want to choose that, uh, you know, since the results started coming in, 
from mm. 1st april what are the stocks where you know uh, earnings upgrades have happened okay mm. so this is fi 22 so i can see bajaj finserv tata motors they have upgraded and um, sbi life nestle hdfc life they have downgraded now fi 22 is virtually over so yes. you look at fi 23 so for fi 23 where the upgrades are coming it's coming in tata steel state bank SBA. reliance and where the downgrades coming tata motors ultratech so fi 23 should be your you know base case here where you should be looking at so these are the stocks which are going to struggle where you know street were over optimistic and these are the stocks where street was underestimating and now they are upgrading so this is eps but you can look at revenue a bit up back net debt book value whatever uh, you know number you want and as i said you can look at any indices uh, this was uh, you know or the best part make your own watch list and okay. see what you want to see okay so, so can i just add to... one point because there might be a very new comers who must be watching this video uh guys uh only based on these indicators don't blindly go and buy and sell do your homework as well on those companies because if you just go and blindly do the transaction if transaction goes negative you will not have conviction so first do the fundamental analysis of the business part once you understand business then yeah you when you go ahead uh, these indicators will give you some direction from that direction you can do the transaction part but without research don't take any transaction call thanks sir thanks for pointing that out Yeah. See, that's why yeah. we are calling it as a screen so screen is only the first step and we will show you the next steps uh, you know what how to look about which company so here you just select the company that you want to look at see either you are you got some tip from uh, sai that this company is looking good and you go and check that company directly and if you have no idea these screens help you so you find out okay so this company looks interesting the earnings are getting upgraded and i should do more work on it so this is just to and sometimes even this company could be an interesting because you are trying to do value buy you are trying to do bottom fishing the sentiment is negative maybe this is the buy and not this so it depends on what you are looking at but this gives you power of analyzing and getting the cumulative knowledge of all the broker analysts which are there so uh, to get this data you need to take 25 lakh rupee subscription from bloomberg as a individual so mm-hmm. this is what we are giving you free a uh, 25 lakh uh, rupees subscription uh, then this is the watch list uh, basically you can make any kind of watch list so uh, mm-hmm. you know, let me go back to steel because i'm using that one so you get to know you know what's happening so basically here what you get is you know last traded price what pe it is trading what price to book give you better what is 52 week high low and uh, one day one week returns plus since you added what is the change and the date when you added Uh-huh. now so you can make n number of watch list with n number of stocks you know it all depends on you mm-hmm. so i have like multiple watch lists mm-hmm. so i attended a idea forum i made a watch list to figure out you know whether the idea forum guy has really did a good work or not <laughs> you know i can check so yes i did it on 9th april i am just looking at it and i am seeing since i did you know which stock is working which stock is not working so any tip you get put it here in the name of that guy you can track what he does hmm. now suppose you decided that okay you take this indian terrain fashion hmm. and you decide hmm. that okay i have to buy the stock uh, but not right now i'll buy it when it is either closer to 52 week low or if i am getting at five time ev beta you can decide like that no other website gives you you know this flexibility so you can put your alerts because you all wow. guys are working you are not oh. looking uh, you are not really looking at the stock price every moment so here you know you can put out you know what above or below which stock price you want to buy what pe you want to buy below or uh, average price to book price to sales ev bitka so not only price alerts price alerts everybody gives valuation alerts valuation alert so this is killer so bsc notification what kind of notification you want other sites okay. give you all the notification but you want only results or you want okay. only credit rating change or you want okay. only investor presentation okay. so you can choose what you want to put an alert for you put an alert you forget this alert comes email. on mail email yeah immediately you will get an email whenever the uh, event happens whenever the stock is say you put an alert that it comes at 30 let me know or you put an alert that if below 5 time we better let me know 
because sometimes it will take like three, four months for it to go to that five time TV beta. Hmm. But since you have done your study, you know that I have to buy it at that level. You hmm. are ready. You will get an alert. This stock has now reached your level. Uh, you can buy. So it is an extremely important. And as I said, you can have multiple. This um, is killer no tool, sir. I can say uh, the first thing yeah. which I'm going to do post this call is use this tool. <laughs> yeah. Amazing tool. Uh, plus you can change the you know columns etc you can choose whatever you want and mm. secondly you don't even have to come here to check your watch list because every saturday uh, you will get an uh, email mm. with uh, this whole chart mm. plus all the you know main uh, announcement that the company did during it will all come to you in all your watch lists so every okay. uh, weekend you just have to check you know what happened here you can check every minute but there you can check on weekly basis. It will come to you on email. So you don't really need to worry uh, if you okay. miss anything. Then these are, uh, you know, events, uh, event calendar, which again is a fantastic tool hmm. and which is only, you know, you get it on goindiastocks.com. Hmm. So this is the call which happened on uh, Friday. So you already know your numbers, etc. The result note presentation, there's audio recording and there's a transcript. Now transcript comes within two hours of the call happening. Remember, even the management gets the call transcript within 24 to 48 hours. We give so you this, two hours. This is for the companies which you are tracking or across? Uh, so this is for everything. Industry. See, everything. Excels, I mean, I don't track. Okay. Uh, Intel Labs, I don't track. Well, for every company, actually BSC 500, we have limited ourselves to BSC 500 right now. Okay. Uh, yeah so but that itself is a very big news to cover okay yeah so is this done uh system uh you have implemented systems here so yeah it is implemented system so say today morning hmm. uh there was this call on najara technologies the hmm. transcript is already here <laughs> it's only two hours uh 37 minutes the audio recording is here you click on it see your competition is still struggling to find out, you know, the, I missed the call, what happened? You can see the transcript here. You don't have to worry and spend two hours. And uh, obviously, I'll show you other things also. So you can plan your day and you can, you know, you can set alert here. Hmm. You just click on it and whenever the transcript is ready, you'll get an alert that this transcript is now ready. So, Amazing. you know, whichever company you are tracking. And so these are the companies for today, uh, for tomorrow. So you have an idea for next few days. Which all companies Sir, are going audio to. also will be available uh, for every company. Audio is also available. Uh, okay. So if you want to see, let me show you some. So this is the audio which is in Azara. Let's start okay. this. So here you can change the speed. Okay. Here, Sir, right? audio I can see in NES. So, much, uh, uh, everyone. so, uh, on behalf of so you can the change the speed in point one. We have it as the management represented by Now the thing is that in even in YouTube, if you go and listen, it changes in point 0.5. Hmm. So maybe your right speed to is not 1.5, it's 1.6, 1.7. So you can save your time time by then you can go forward, backward. So it's an amazing tool for you to track all your uh, this thing. But we have something which is even better, which I'll show you. Okay. Um, so something which is even better than this. Okay. And before I go, you know, uh, let me just show you this, uh, you know, watch all your news here. So okay. every okay. second it is getting, we are at 11.39, it's 11.30. Mm. So um, Shadakop earnings have come in, LG, mm. why is RBI buying gold? And whatever related to market, you don't really mm. have to go and search for the news. Uh, it mm. is here. We are going to improve it even further. Then you okay. can look at management interviews also, whatever interviews. Okay. So this is 16th April, May. We mm. already have interviews of Anil Singh, we this, that, you know. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm trying to put Hindi news also. And maybe okay. now since you have maybe Telugu news, we'll <laughs> never know. We can put everything. And there are featured interviews which are my own interviews. So okay. <laughs> this is a little bit of self-promotion. <laughs> now let me take you to an important update. Okay. So Nazara Technologies we were seeing there. Yes. And we were wondering, you know, what to do. Uh, shall I read that transcript? It'll take mm. you like 30 minutes to read it. Huh? Yes. Here it is already analyzed and available for you. Q4, it result came at 9 o'clock. We are at 11.41. It's already analyzed. Revenue, 
they are saying that they are working on B2C strategy. So you can just click and read. Okay, so this is what they are saying. Uh, cost, uh, cost is kind of neutralish. Uh, they are saying that, uh, uh, you know, what they are saying on the cost, you can go and read. You can, you know, go to the next level where they're saying, uh, uh, last quarter they had some issue with the debt. You go and see, you know, uh, oh, you know what was they were saying, the debt part. So they're saying that okay. uh, this is a non-cash hit. Okay. Uh, you know. And so I don't need to see. read entire transcript because there could be so, so many repetitive questions here. I can read what I want to know. So exactly. amazing. So you just have to see now uh, for this company, because it's a new company, there are only two quarters of transcript. Hmm. Hmm. See, there's even better here. Now, when I say compare companies, I can compare across the sector, all the companies. So I can see that in revenue, you know, Sonata Software, Tata, Alexi, TechM had some problem. Cost, most of the companies have problem on cost and margin. So it is a sector-wide issue. I can just go and, you know, click here and see, you know, okay, so margin is a little low as we had announced something. So everything that you need for the sector is analyzed. Now, this is IT <laughs> sector. You can close it and you can say, okay, uh, let me look at chemical sector. Mm, correct. So imagine the ease with which all the, and now if you want, okay, I, uh, my company is not here. I, mm. I don't want to see Coromandel. You can remove Coromandel. Uh, okay. You say, oh, I want to add one more company. I want to add, uh, okay. so probably let's take uh, Deepak Nitrate. Okay. Okay. You say, I want to add Deepak Nitrate. You just add here. But okay. you can add whatever you want. You can subscribe whatever you want. Okay. So change. So now broadly you have an idea how to, screen for companies hmm. now let's go to the next step which is how to look at companies so here you go and type say Tata Steel so you have decided I, see Tata Steel actually this is, is killer good. I saw few companies this is really a killer product you have built <laughs> go ahead sir I know my subscribers will uh, definitely love this part okay so here you have chosen Tata Steel now Tata Steel uh, you know analysis is ready Hmm. You are familiar with Karod. You Karod. If you say I am a foreign guy, I look at million, billion. You can choose whatever you want. You want to choose standalone. You can choose standalone. You want to choose consolidated. It's up to you. Because some companies you want to look at standalone. Some hmm. companies you want to look at. So this is the basic information which is available. So you can see that the stock market cap is one lakh thirty four thousand crore, and debt on the books is sixty eight thousand last reported. EV is one lakh eighty six thousand. Is trading at 3.43 p uh, and 3.43 times EV better. Mm. Immediately you check what is the five year average p. So five year average is 8.7. It's trading at 3.43. Mm. EV better is 3.43. Five year average is 6.7. So it's trading below. Plus you are getting you know the diluted number of shares. What is mm. the revenue growth? Pat growth because the company was loss making in between. So you don't mm. get the pat growth. Now you get the dividend and dividend yield. You get mm. the promoter holding, institutional holding you know main this thing hmm. then you look at the options Ops, uh, absolute uh, stock return so in the last five years it is given 151 percent in hmm. last one year it's given open it's flat in the last hmm. one year hmm. now this is the transcript analyzer so you can see it's becoming green 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 hmm. and the last thing you know so the stock has done really well because more green so even if you can't uh, don't want to go and see red yellow the more green that you see company is doing well yes now imagine from 2012, which is 20, 10 years, the data is available analyzed. Imagine how much time would you spend. So even if somebody told you why the stock fell in 2015, you can just go and see you know what happened. Yeah. What was the issue, right? Yes. So, amazing feature. And then this is the technical analysis. So currently it is showing uh, you know sell signs on. Uh, basically on a one week chart um, mm. long term trend one month is still a buy mm. and very short term is still a sell and from okay. here uh, you know if you know all those indicators MSCD, mm. RSI uh, mm. you can add you mm. know like I would look at MSCD mm. or I look at RSI so if I know stuff you know I can do here itself yeah, I mean, I can add uh, and I can see, okay, so RSI is now getting near oversold. MSCD mm. is still positive. Stock can turn from here. So if I know a little bit about technical, 
Mm-hmm. I can look here. Otherwise, you know, this is what my, you already have some indication that out of mm-hmm. 26 indicators, 14 are still showing sell, six are neutral and six are buy. Okay. So you have to you know, use your intuition because it will not tell you where it is standing around. It will mm-hmm. just show you the trend. So currently mm-hmm. trend is downward, showing you a downward trend. But mm-hmm. from here, you can figure out that probably it can turn. If it mm-hmm. RSI was below 20, I would have gone mm-hmm. and bought it today. <laughs> So then I'm sure that it will turn around. Then some of the notes that we have written on steel would come here. So you can see. Now this is a great feature. All the news that you want to see on Tata Steel is here. Okay. So you don't okay. have to go and find out and you know, you just have to click here and you can uh, read. Uh, this is an Im- extremely important chart. Hmm. So it tells you, you know, the total shareholder return uh, is 65%, which include dividend, etc. Hmm. 430% is coming because of earnings. And there's a PD rating which has happened. So minus 371% mm. plus P has reduced. Mm. Price to earning ratio has reduced. So that's why you saw that it is trading well below the five-year average P. So it tells you the main driver of stock is actually earnings, not P D rating. A little bit of an important uh, thing. Now, these are the charts which normally you see in broker reports. Mm. It's not a you know, not the run-of-the-mill ordinary chart. So here you can see, you know, where it has traded on EV beta. So you can see it's traded between uh, 3.6 uh, to, you know, uh, 9.3. And uh, average is 7.43. Currently it is trading at, uh, if you look here, if you go here, it's trading at seven times. Average is 7.43. So it can trade anywhere between 3.6 and 11. Currently it is at 7, 7.01 and average is 7.43, the black line. So this is last five year data. This is last five year data. Okay. Um, and sometime we will make it 15 year. We are still negotiating with our data providers. Okay. Uh, so remember, we are free for all and our budgets are limited. So we are still, uh, you know, but we'll make so it. I, like I was about to ask you. So this is a killer product you have developed. It's a advanced tool, which I've seen till now. So such an advanced tool, you're going to leave it for free for a lifetime. You're sure? Yeah, that's the idea that we want to keep it free for a lifetime. Yeah. And uh, this is our way of giving back to society uh, because currently, uh, you know, only 4% of uh, India's wealth is in equities. In US, it is 42%. So a lot of education is required as, you know, we increase our, uh, these are, you can't make money in FDs, etc. There's hardly anything to be made. So people are forced either through mutual funds or they want to do it themselves. So this is for, you know, people who want to do it themselves. It's the so expensive is, to run this platform. So that's what amazes me. How can it can remain free <laughs> for lifetime? But thanks a lot uh, for that contribution, sir. This is really, uh, I'm yeah. sure uh, people who values it, uh, they'll love this site for sure. Yeah, so uh, we'll find ways to fund it, uh, but it doesn't have to be customers. And we are building this uh, product still uh, on the forward. Let's see if it opens or not. Uh, so what it gives you is one year forward chart also. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Not now, but probably it's taking some time. We'll come back to it. Uh, so what happens is that one year forward, maybe the earnings are different. So I'll show you, you know, what it is going to do. Now, these are the charts if you want to, you know, use it for your report or you want to, you're making your own business case, uh, you know, you can choose uh, time periods, uh, you can choose, uh, you know, share price, market cap, P, V, beta, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this is just for people who want to use it in their reports, they can download mm-hmm. it from here. Now, this is an interesting feature. This is the delivery volume. Uh, some of our competitors have done it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we have done it better is that you can choose the date and it will give you the average trading volume. So basically between uh, last one year, the average uh, delivery is 24.43%. So Sir, how can you call somebody else as a competitor? Because I don't think such a amazing website available for free. <laughs> so no, I don't think anybody is competitor to you. <laughs> yeah, many people are giving uh, delivery volume. So people are looking at uh, you know, yeah. delivery, which you can see here. Uh, but here, because see, sometimes what happens is that some companies... Uh, uh, might uh, come for open offer. So you want to see what is the six month average price and uh, delivery, how many, where the accumulation has happened. So you can just go and change the dates to figure out, you know, where the accumulation has happened, how many stock has been bought. So this all, you know, what a experienced analyst would, uh, you know, built in. 
Hmm. Now, this is how the earnings estimate have changed for Tata Steel hmm. for FI23. So, hmm. from the EPS of 141, hmm. the consensus is now increased hmm. to 223. So, this is one important indicator when you are looking at that earnings are being upgraded. So, company is doing better than what expectation was there. You can obviously choose, you know, EBITDA or PAT or EPS, whatever, you know, we have kept it up. And you can also look at various years, 23, 24, 25. Mm -hmm. Now it's much more easier to see it here. Now here you can see all the years together. So basically you see FI 21, mm -hmm. it started uh, mm -hmm. at uh, 71 rupees EPS. Mm -hmm. uh, people cut it down uh, during the year uh, to, you know, minus 10 or something. And then it ended the year at 61. Mm -hmm. So similarly, the green line is FI 22 last year. Hmm. People started at, uh, you know, much lower level. They kept on upgrading. So when you're upgrading, the stock actually tends to move up. True. Now, blue line is FI23 for the current year. Hmm. And see, this is what happened after the results. So before result, it was 194.9 rupees EPS. And now uh, it's gone up to 200 or something. Okay. Yeah, 223. So you can see that, hmm. you know, what has happened after the result. Yeah, here you can see uh, correctly, uh, basically uh, the revenue, etc. So yeah, the EPS two twenty three one ninety four. Yeah, and you can also see what is the debt projection people have, and what is the book mm -hmm. value projection people have. So if you want to, you know, analyze based on this, you can uh, do on your own. Okay, this is what the street is showing. But now mm -hmm. you don't want to do all that hard work. Mm -hmm. It's already available here. What the street is saying. So there are uh, basically twenty nine people who are covering twenty nine analysts who are covering it. Of which twenty five are buy, three are neutral, and one is sell. So you can see how, you know, one, the coverage is increasing. So people are getting more interested. It's mm. come off a little bit. So interest is now starting to reduce slightly. And sir, here you one, can see, one, one question, sir. Uh, is the coverage reports would be available, sir? By any no, chance? coverage reports uh, is an IP issue. Okay. So uh, I'll show you some coverage reports are there, but um, because brokers don't really allow. Okay. And, and as I told you, this is very expensive data. And yes. uh, if you have to see this data, you have to take Bloomberg, which I told you costs 25 lakhs a year. Uh, but here you get an idea. So basically, mm -hmm. the average target price people are saying is 1649, lowest is uh, 1394, and highest is 1903. So the stock is currently trading at around 1200. So you see that even the bearish analyst has some upside. But now you want to dig deeper and you want to see, you know, what is driving uh, this company. Uh, okay. So this is the deep one analysis. So here, what I've done is I compared with JSW Steel, just to give mm. you an example. This is one here. Mm. So I look at BIT margin to 13.5%. JSW is doing much better, 20%. Mm. Interest burden much higher, 63%. Here, 75%. So, Lower the number means higher interest burden. Mm. Tax burden, again, Tata Steel is paying more taxes because it is in various geographies where it's not getting advantage of the tax. Mm. Uh, Non-current asset turnover, Tata Steel is doing better, 0.85 as compared to 0.7. Now, a combination of this means net profit margin for JSW is 9.86, Tata Steel is only 5%. Five and asset turnover, Tata Steel is better. So mm. they make it up a little bit, but their ROE is only 10.59 and JSW is 16.83. This explains why JSW is trading at a much higher price to book. Now, if you want one year, you is not right, look at you can no, on due that. point, so, I, I on due point, just a couple of weeks back itself, I have uh, done a recording. There is one fund fund manager who gave presentation on it. He explained how to do the due point analysis. I think now my viewers will get the this tool will help them uh, to understand much better. So here I've done like six year. Hmm. So you can compare over a six year period what JSW did, what Tata Steel did. What is driving the ROE? Yeah. Now you say, I want to dig deep into Tata Steel's, how the ROI is changing. So basically the gray bar, mm. you think that Tata Steel is going to do much better now because India business is doing well, Europe is doing well. So you come here and see what is driving the ROI. So the gray bar is actually uh, ROI, which is 10.87 we saw. Mm. And what is improving? So the blue line PBIT margin is actually improving. The blue line is the PBIT yes. margin, which is increasing. And um, if you look at the interest burden, which is the black line, it is kind of flattish. Asset turnover is flattish. So the only thing which is actually driving is uh, the blue line. Yeah. So basically, 
And here also, if you want, you can see how JSW is doing as compared to Tata Steel. You just have to look at it. Um, so you see that JSW also, uh, the blue line is going up. Yes. And uh, for them, the red line is actually coming down a little bit. So their asset turnover is actually reducing um, as compared to, you know, Tata Steel is flattish. Uh, but VIT margin is common uh, mm. for JSW and this guy, which is driving. So you can see how the ROE is changing and what is actually impacting the ROE. Is it margin? Is it asset turnover? Is it, uh, you know, um, interest burden, leverage? Can I add one point to viewers there on the chat? Uh, guys, this chat will help you to do that Y analysis. Uh, see here, uh, we can see PBT margins are contributing to the ROE, right? Now we should understand why PBT margins are going up. Okay. Whichever company you are doing that analysis, uh, this will lead you to that Y analysis. When you do that Y analysis, you will get the answers, right answers to get your conviction, whether to buy or uh, exit or hold uh, that call. Now, for some companies, working capital is a big issue. Yeah. So you need to know exactly, you know, how the working capital is uh, going. So the main point to note is cash conversion days. So here, as you can see, Tata Steel is getting paid to do business hmm. because they receive their money in 20 days, but they pay back only in 151 days. They don't pay because they get credit. They have a higher reputation. Hmm. So they don't really need money to run the business. They just need money to do the CapEx. Uh, their working capital is negative. Then here you can do, you know, you can look at the peer comparisons. Then you want to do a deep dive. You can look at, you know, the consolidated profit and loss uh, statements, gross margins, uh, normal, you know, PNL that you see. Similarly, if you want to see quarterly, it is, uh, you know, yeah, you can right. export it to Excel, whatever you want. You can just click to Excel, it will go to Excel. Uh, similarly, detailed balance sheet. Uh, I won't spend too much time, but you know, our balance sheets are... Yeah. Worth, we can go ahead, sir. We can run this. Okay. So basically, you know, much more detail than you mm. would see on some of our competitor website. Uh, mm. And uh, these are the cash flow again, uh, much more because uh, this is not a three line uh, cash flow mm. that we give. Mm. You can expand and see everything in full mm. detail. You can point it mm. down to the last number. Mm. Uh, but now what I'm going to show you is the most interesting part. Mm. This Cash one chart tells you what this company looks like. Mm. So Tata Steel in the last 10 years had a cash flow uh, from operations of 1,77,000 crore. Mm. Uh, working capital actually is negative. So they mm. took more money from the market. Mm. So their total cash flow from operations is 1,96,000 crore. Mm. They paid 25,000 crore of uh, tax. Hmm. They paid 52,000 crore interest cost. Hmm. And still they made 1,18,000 crore of free cash, hmm. of which 1,5,000 they made capex. So the free cash flow was only 13,000 crore. Hmm. They issued equity of 13,000. They paid 10,000 crore dividend. And they also took 4,000, 7,000 crore of debt. So in one chart, you can see what this company is doing. Yes, And you choose the years. So it you know, if you want to see what happened last year, so you don't really need to understand the cash flow statement, the balance sheet, the things. You just come and see where the cash is coming and where it is going. Tata Steel is a very reputed company, so people are not going to doubt it. But yeah. for some companies, there could be a big, big clue here. Yes. So one chart you have to see for any company, this is the chart uh, that you have to see. Then there are ratio analysis. So if you want to see how mm. the growth is happening, or how the margin is moving or return ratios, valuation ratios, liquidity ratios, cash flow ratios. I think any kind of ratio you can think of it is there. I have hidden these uh, common size balance sheet and uh, mm. PNL. But if you want to see common size, it is uh, mm. available. Now, company filings, all the announcements are coming here. As mm. soon as it is coming on the exchange, it is coming here. But it is also classified under various categories. So you want to see investor presentation, you just click here and you go here. Hmm. You want to see when the analyst call is there, you just go and click here. So it's an amazing tool. Now let's come to the shareholding part because this is also very interesting. And hmm. uh, you can see that, uh, you know, promoter shareholding has actually gone down a little bit. And hmm. institution shareholding has actually gone up. And retail shareholding is uh, going down a little bit. You can also see promoter pledge is hmm. negligible. So here you can go and see 
uh, you know, who is Option actually, holders. yeah. So LIC used to at 10, 11 percent is actually coming down. SBI mm. has increased. ICC potential mm. has uh, come down a little bit. GIC mm. government of Singapore has increased. Mm. Uh, then there are other various funds. Uh, what has happened? Mm. More importantly, you can also look at the bulk and block deal which are happening right here. So you can see in history, Tata Sons bought it at two eighty seven and three hundred rupees at the bottom of the cycle in March twenty twenty when COVID was at its just starting mm. and market was crashing. Mm. You can also go and see you know when some of these guys bought like Tata Steel bought in two thousand nine also to Tata Sons. So you have a pattern where you can see you know when the promoters promoters buy the bond. Then you get all the transcripts here, uh, you know, for last, as I told you, 10 years uh, at one go. Uh, audio recordings are not available here because uh, Tata Steel does uh, on Zoom, etc. Mm. So uh, that's why not happening. So for Tata Steel as a company, when you were trying to analyze, immediately you noticed that, you know, it's getting at a lower valuation. Mm. You noticed that, uh, you know, ROE is around 11%. And... Uh, you saw that sentiment is largely green. You saw that technical analysis, long-term trend is positive, but uh, short-term trend is negative. So probably there is a chance to buy. Uh, then you also uh, saw that you know earnings are driving the uh, stock price, not the PE. And hmm. uh, from here, you saw that on EV earning multiple, it is reasonably priced, but on price to book, it is looking expensive. Hmm. So uh, for cyclical companies, you have to look at price to book also. So PE EBITDA is looking cheap, but on price to book, it's not looking that cheap. And then you saw that, uh, you know, consensus estimates are going up. And you saw that even the worst guy is saying upside. Hmm. So if you want to buy the stock, there's a reasonable probability that you will make at least 10, 20% return, hmm. maybe more depending on, you know, how the sector changes. So you need to keep a track uh, on this. And uh, you compared, you can compare with the various peers and see, you know, Yes. Uh, whether you should look at UW or um, yeah, Tata Steel Any other or Steel for that matter. So from a one, you know, just scrolling down, it should not take more than two, three minutes for you if you know what are things to watch out for. Yes. So screens tell you which stocks to look at. Here you just go and, you know, do a deep dive. So any tip which comes to you, you go and check first. So even without knowing anything on the company, uh, without spending too much time, you can do a quick check and then you put it in your watch list. So you track it regularly as to what is happening, whether the consensus is going up or going down. Uh, when the call is happening, you just go and look at the sentiment. So this is the tool that we have. Um, okay. Uh, so Sir, like I'll to... say only one thing. I know many retail investors cannot directly speak with you. On behalf of everybody, I'm saying this. Thank you. A big thanks because... It is Welcome. such an amazing tool, keeping, uh, making it available and that to keeping it for free for everybody is, it needs a big heart. Uh, thanks a lot for that. No, no. Welcome. Welcome for that. So one last feature, which I want to show yes, sir. is that for our featured companies. Hmm. Um, so basically let's take uh, any company like uh, Godavi, let's take that. Hmm. And there's an additional feature that you get, which is an investor desk. Hmm. So basically, annual report, result, release, and uh, investor presentation you get for everyone. But uh, there are two major things that you get here. Uh, once it's opening, info pack. So basically, hmm. when you click on this, this hmm. has all the operational data also for, for all this company. Okay. So I'll just show you. Because you guys are covering these companies. Uh, so you'll get the entire. Yeah, because we are getting paid by these companies. So you can see that, you know, what is the iron ore mining capacity, pellet capacity, how much capacity utilization, production, sales quantity, you know, mm. sales value, realization. So anybody who wants to get his hand dirty uh, can actually come here and, you know. So Sir, by the time it opens, uh, I know it. Uh, I, I, so you're not I able should... to see that? Uh, no, I'm not able to see that. Achha, wait a second, I'll to stop and uh, do the reshare. Okay, so basically, as you can see from 2015, mm. uh, you can see what is the capacity of various divisions, iron, mm. etc. Okay. Then you can look at capacity utilization, production, sales quantity, sales value, realization, you know, what is the benefit of captive mines. And you can see a lot of other things, you know, annual consolidated results, their subsidy results, hmm. you know, 
other operating parameters, which is like quarterly, how they're doing. So anybody looking to do a detailed research on the companies that we uh, have here hmm. uh, can do it here, uh, can download that info pack. And okay. uh, now let me go back to my this thing. The other thing which I wanted to show you were the research reports. Hmm. So basically, you know, you have all the reports on Reliance Securities, Intrade, Quantum, Philip Capital. So people who have written on the company, you can also, you are asking now whether broker reports are yes. there or not. There for some of our companies where we have been able to get permission from hmm. that broker to put it here. Uh, then there is a fact sheet if you really want to just have a quick one minute look at what the company's main things are, you can do here. Uh, you want to look at, you know, how the earnings came through. Hmm. You can just click here and there's a one infographic which will open, uh, okay. which you can see. So for our featured companies, uh, there's a little bit more as compared to uh, you know, all other universe. Yeah, yeah. Sla- this is the only thing which is extra. But okay. for everything else, you know, you have, you know, whatever yes. possible okay. uh, is available. Okay. Sir, one, uh, I don't know uh, whether I can ask or not because I know you're providing a lot of things for free. Can we add portfolio tool also uh, somewhere so that uh, I don't need to go to any other website for me? It will become a one-stop solution. Yeah. So portfolio tool is uh, in advanced stages. We are making it. Okay. Oh, you're and, making it. Uh, okay. We are making it, but we want to make it the best. Okay. So it will analyze your portfolio in all possible ways that you can think of okay. and give you hints as to what you should be doing with that portfolio. Where okay. are the pain points, how you should be changing, etc. So okay. we are making, it will take some time, but uh, our resources are very really limited. But hmm. that is our on agenda. We are making it and every month we are adding new capabilities. Uh, hmm. We have people we are hired from IITs uh, to work on, uh, you know, simplifying the data. So uh, what you saw for transcripts for, um, uh, you know, conference calls will come out with analysis of annual reports, et cetera, in the same format. You don't need to read those big annual reports. It will just pull out okay. pain points and just Super. showcase. Yeah. Amazing site, sir. Thank you, sir. That's it for this video, guys. If you want to see the content, you can see the effort. If you want to help you, you can like it. If you want to like it, you can share it. And you can share it with family members. If you want to share it with your friends and family members, you can share it with your friends. If you want to share it with your channel, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want to share it with your channel, you can share it with all notifications. You can share it with your friends and family members. And you can share it with your friends. And I am Sai Krishna Patri. I will see you in the next video. Keep learning. Have fun.